um, I am going to show you how to prep calendula flowers so that then you can make some um, calendula oil. Uh, calendula, they are in the Asteraceae family, so they're in the daisy family, and they are really great for your skin, and so you can make an oil with it, and you can make balm with it, or a lotion with it, um, or just have an oil that you use that's got in it, and it's uh, quite good for cuts and scrapes and healing of your skin. And, but before you can do that, you can't just take the flowers and like soak them in oil. You actually need to dry them first. And so um, I am just gonna go ahead and pull all the petals off of these so that they can dry. And I've got them on a cookie sheet. And calendulas come in a lot of different colors. The most common color is this bright, beautiful orange color but they also come in yellow and then a little bit like paler color. So I'm just gonna get all of these petals pulled off. And uh, they're a little bit sticky, these flowers are, and they have quite an interesting smell. They're also completely edible. You can um, put them in your mouth and eat them. They don't have a particularly wonderful, interesting taste, but you can do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get all these pulled off and then I can just compost, I can just compost the heads. Um, I could probably use the heads too if I wanted to. Maybe that'll be an experiment. I'll just dry the heads out and see what all I can do with those. Um, and then um, once the petals are completely dry, 100% dry, uh, you can take them and then we'll put them in some oil. So I've got them sitting in a nice like thin layer on a cookie sheet and they're in my uh, hot house so that they can really dry out quickly. They'll probably actually be dry in just like a couple days. You could also do this in the oven, but really it's easier to just put it in a really sunny, warm place and let it do it that way. Okay. I am going to make some calendula salve and um, because I made some calendula oil back in the summer with dried calendula flowers. So I am going to put this together with some beeswax and some mango butter. And then uh, I'm gonna put probably a little bit of lavender oil in it so that it has a nice smell because this is just coconut oil with calendula steeped in it. And I'm gonna melt it all together and then I'll pour it into tins.